All right, we are back. This is number two in a two-part series. Today, we are talking about why you should use a hammock as a backpacking shelter. Last week, I did a video called why you should use a tent as a backpacking shelter. If you wanna watch that video, I will put that right up here or here or wherever it's gonna show up, but I will put it up somewhere in the cards for you guys to watch. You can go back and watch that video. And the whole concept and the whole goal behind this video is not to tell you guys what to use as a backpacking shelter, but just give you the benefits to both and also combat some of the, what I think are a lot of myths about both. And just to kind of help people in their decision-making from somebody like me who has done a ton of tent camping, but also a ton of hammock camping. And let me just ask the question, why do hammockers and tenters always fight? Like, what is the deal? And if you know me, I have said this in the past, I could care less how you got out into the back country, whether you pulled a wagon, I don't care if you stayed in a tent or a hammock or you strung up some dental floss over the top of you. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just glad you're out there. Okay, so like last week, um, I went online. I was very interested to find out what people think of hammock camping. Um, and these are obviously not hammock campers that said some of this stuff. But I searched the World Wide Web again and found that there were people saying some things like, there is no room to spread out. Uh, it is way heavier. It only takes about a year before you actually learn how to set one up correctly. <laughs> uh, no trees or the wrong trees, no hammocking. Hammocks are more expensive. And somebody else said, hammocks are freezing cold. We'll at least talk about a little bit of it and uh, just kind of give you some thoughts on why I think you should absolutely use a hammock as a backpacking shelter. So first of all, if it's cold outside, hammocks are typically the warmer shelter. Um, when I've gone winter camping in the past, and I've done camping in tents and hammocks in the winter time, I have been warmer, this is just me personally, in a hammock. And I think the biggest reason for that is because I've learned how to correctly set up my hammock and set up the whole system. But you get to have a big down top quilt over you if you guys are into down top quilts, and I hope you are because they're awesome. And then you can attach what's called an under quilt to the bottom of the hammock, and it's like having a big blanket or a sleeping bag essentially underneath the hammock. So you're floating in this cocoon of like down awesomeness. And what that does is it just, just keeps you comfy and really, really warm all night. Like if you tried hammock camping in the past and you froze, uh, it's usually because of a couple things. One, you didn't put your underquilt on correctly or you didn't use an underquilt at all. And uh, if you don't do that right, if you don't put the underquilt on correctly uh, or if you don't use an underquilt at all, you're gonna be cold, especially when the cold air comes from underneath you because that hammock, the fabric isn't providing any insulation at all. Um, so for me, I have had some extremely warm nights in a hammock. Not only am I staying warmer, floating in the air essentially, I don't have to be put into say snow. And up in Wisconsin, it can get some deep snow. So I don't have to shovel the snow to get it to you know, fit in the right spot for my hammock. I can just put it between two trees and uh, float in a cocoon of awesomeness and stay warm all night long. Number two, the second reason you should use a hammock as a backpacking shelter is because waking up to amazing views can happen pretty much every morning. You can put your hammock into what's called porch mode. And porch mode is where you take one side of the tarp and you lift it up a little bit with some trekking poles on each end. And you've got like this porch over the top of you. And it still provides plenty of coverage for rain and weather and that kind of thing. But when you wake up in the morning, it is just so cool to be able to just see right out into the world and just kind of everything that's going on out there. Enjoy the nature that's happening around you and uh, be able to just have dinner underneath that and uh, just relax and hang out. So porch mode, being able to see the view is a huge benefit to hammock camping. The third reason you should be using a hammock as a backpacking shelter is because Setting up in the rain is about as easy as it gets for any shelter. So if you watched last week's video, we talked about how to set up a tent in the rain, and it can absolutely be pretty difficult to set up a tent in the rain depending on what kind of a tent you have. But setting up a hammock in the rain, it is literally as easy as stringing up your tarp between two trees. You've essentially hung up your roof. It's like a massive umbrella. And as soon as you get that tarp up, you can hang up your hammock and you're good to go. Number four, the fourth reason that you should use a hammock as a backpacking shelter is that good sleep can typically 
be easier. Now, don't get me wrong, uh, setting up a hammock and using it for the first time or the first several times can take some adjusting and learning and uh, for some people it can be a real process. It was for me, it was something that I had to uh, learn to do and study up on and just figure out how to do it correctly. But uh, other people uh, that get the right gear out the gate and set it up correctly out the gate, find that when they sleep in that hammock, they're having the best night's sleep of their life. And oftentimes people think, well, you know, I'm a side sleeper or I even sleep on my stomach and so I can't do that in a hammock. How could you possibly do that in a hammock? Well, they make hammocks that give you the ability to do that, but it does take practice. So I recommend uh, a couple of companies that are uh, out there on the market. One's a little bit newer than the other, but they both provide what I think are more set it and forget it type hammocks. In other words, they've considered the new user or the person who's not interested in like accessorizing their hammock and you know having all these crazy adjustments and having certain straps and certain this and certain every they just want they're reaching out to the person who just is like I just want a hammock I want to stay warm I want it to be lightweight and I want to be able to set it up easily and not have to worry about it. So these two companies, I think, do that really, really well. The first one is Warbonnet, and I'll put a link to this company in the description below. Uh, they sell hammocks that are very user-friendly and are some of the easiest on the market to set up, as well as their components all work together really, really easily. So like, for instance, under quilts can typically be difficult to set up because of the amount of work it takes uh, to get it to not sag and to not have drafts. Well, their under quilts are built specifically in sewn specifically for their hammock. So it's literally just you snap on this end, you snap on this end, and you're done. There's another company out there called Superior Gear. Um, they make a hammock, uh, this one here, where the underquilt is literally built into the hammock. So it is just hang your hammock and you're done. Um, and I think that's a really, really cool way to do that as well. So essentially what you do is you buy your hammock built for the temperature rating that you want to be in. And I would recommend if you're gonna choose a all season long temperature rating that you do 20 degrees no matter what season you're in. Cause I think that's the most versatile to not have to buy multiple temperature ratings. And so they integrate their underquilt into the hammock Really, really cool way to do it. Um, so those two companies, I think, are kind of ahead of the game when it comes to making it easy for the person who just doesn't want to have to think too much when they're setting up their hammock. And number five is you never, ever have to worry about wet ground or pretty much any of the ground that's underneath you. So a huge benefit to hammock camping is you can essentially hang your hammock, I mean, as long as there's two trees that are appropriately spaced apart, anywhere. Uh, you can hang over hills, you can hang over creeks, you can hang where the ground is really rocky, you can hang uh, where there's a potentially rain going to be coming through and causing water to flow where you're at. So you really don't have to think about much anything else other than where are there trees. So that's a huge benefit to hammock camping, which makes the whole process of finding a campsite pretty easy, especially if you're hiking in just big wooded areas. All right guys, those are just a few of the reasons that I think that you should be buying and using a hammock as your backpacking shelter. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released. Oh, and I do have an Instagram. If you guys wanna check me out on Instagram, I'll make sure I put that information right here for you guys and I will see you on the next one.